what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about mulan entering the battlefield in rise of kingdoms So really quick before we jump in i never post a video at this time of day and so it's my understanding that the youtube algorithm is probably not going to post this video or send it out to a lot of my subs so if you are seeing it or if you just enjoy me uploading at this time of day instead of my usual time make sure you drop a thumbs up on it to let that youtube algorithm know that everyone else who watches my videos should check this out as well now in this video we're going to be going over a slightly different english translation compared to the one that is being popularly shared around from discord i think it was uh as Bodian posted it over on the discord channel I also want to give you guys my thoughts and opinions and sort of like my predictions with Mulan and how she's going to be implemented into the game and how her buffs are going to work also huge shout out to Lastwagger for sending me some of these leaked images that I saw in other videos and also I want to bring attention okay I want to bring attention really quick to Shinshi 42 because this guy posted about Mulan being a leak uh all the way back in january of 2019 january of 2019 a year and eight months ago there were already talks of mulan being implemented into rise of kingdoms and it's my understanding that back during this time i'm pretty sure the uh, the sponsored content creators were sort of allowed to discuss potential leaks that might not be entirely true so don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure like gecko gaming had some different like leak videos back in the day um I'm not 100% positive, but you can see the rest of this leak predicted Saladin coming into the game, which we obviously saw shortly after this. And they also predicted new for China, meaning that China only would be getting Mulan, which is true. That's exactly what happened. So all the way back in January of 2019, this was pretty much now confirmed, although it does say elite, which is obviously different. Now, he also posted on the Rise of Kingdoms subreddit eight months ago, talking about Mulan again. And this time, obviously, it was an epic or legendary, but the moderators of the subreddit took it down, which is really funny, which basically means this is true. It's just way too early to be talking about it. So huge shout out to Shinchi for being like, over a year ahead of the curve like absolutely ridiculous i thought i thought it was so funny when these leaks started coming out um in my head i was like oh yeah we already knew about mulan but apparently a lot of people didn't see those videos and then just to confirm that this is a picture that i just grabbed from the facebook page the like the official rise of kingdoms facebook page and dude you can literally see mulan right there like she literally looks that's that's her like that's what her character looks like in the game i mean you just just look at her right like she looks exactly the same i, I guess you can't see a great picture here but it's clearly her right she's got the red cape and everything same hairstyle same like head shape so mulan has been known about forever so it's awesome that they're finally implementing it also take a look at those comments boys take a look at those comments hey anyway with all that out of the way let's take a look at some of her skills now we do know what all four of her skills are plus her expertise i only have pictures of three of the skills and her expertise uh, but we know what the what the other skill is anyway um this is a rough translation into english everything all the text on the screen so obviously you can see it says the ambition of helping the family i guess that's potentially what this skill is going to be called it's her active skill rage requirement of a thousand it says the attack power defense power and health of your own troops and nearby allies are increased by five percent and march speed is increased by five percent last two seconds so obviously you can see this is incremental whereas this can go all the way up to 15 percent so all of your nearby allies get 15 percent attack defense and health which is crazy good and uh we see a 25 percent march speed increase for those allies as well like everybody on the battlefield is going to be moving 25 percent faster for two sides that's really crazy now we're going to talk about how this relates to joan of arc in just a second but i want to keep going through and talking about some of the other skills here so the second skill roughly translates to male and female i i don't really know obviously if you like are familiar with disney's mulan then you know you would know that she was she joined the army and kind of pretended to be a, a man and she obviously wasn't so i guess that kind of makes sense i don't know if that translation actually makes sense but regardless her second skill is a passive that says damage taken reduced by one percent when surrounded there is a 20 percent chance to reduce the target's rage by 20 when counterattacked. this effect can only be triggered once every five seconds so 
all, it goes all the, all the way up to five percent so that's pretty good i mean it's it's kind of a small percentage when you really think about it so damage reduction taken by five percent nothing crazy but it's still nice right what's really cool about this is the rage reduction so there there's a 20 percent chance when the enemy is counter-attacked to reduce their rage by 100 so that means I, I guess my understanding of this is that even if you're running away and they're hitting you you're still dealing the counter-attack damage and you can still reduce their rage so normally we see um there's other skills in the game where it's like there's a 10 percent chance when you do a normal attack right so this is kind of a little bit different and also it's a 20 percent chance like this is really good a 20 percent chance to reduce the enemy's rage essentially by 10 percent like that's wild now there is a five second cooldown on there um but i'm a huge fan of this and i think that this is going to be a really powerful uh a debuff for the enemy now it's also interesting to note that this five percent damage reduction only takes uh, effect when you're surrounded so in 1v1 scenarios literally that doesn't do anything it seems um and so that's kind of unfortunate because it, again it's it's already kind of a small damage uh taken reduction but it is what it is um i think that that rage reduction more than makes up for that because it's just so good right and also this doesn't mention that the rage reduction only takes place when you're surrounded but it could right because this is kind of a rough translation so this this may not be exactly how it works of course these are um again these are ch chinese translations so we don't really know a hundred percent uh we have to wait and see how the commander works in the game to know for sure but um hopefully this rage reduction takes effect even when you're not surrounded that would make this a very good skill her third skill which i don't have a picture of but her third skill increases experience by 95 percent at five skill points which is a pretty straightforward skill it's basically the same as lohar except a little bit better which is great i think you know this is one of my common things that i've talked about i always talk about how hard it is to get experience on your commanders uh, some people may disagree especially if you buy a lot of packs in the game or if you just are killing all the guardians across the entire map every single day then sure but uh, for most of us who don't have the time to spend doing that i think that it is still very difficult to level up commanders all the way up to 60 because you need a lot of them and so i'm glad to see them implementing another commander that is going to increase the amount of experience uh, experience that you get now i guess we can pause here and actually talk about her um her actual skill tree or talent trees right so she is an integration you can see in the back there she's an integration uh commander a peacekeeping commander and a support commander um however these don't really matter Matter that much uh, because this fourth skill talks about when serving as a secondary commander so it doesn't really matter that she doesn't have very good offensive um talent trees because she's going to be secondary anyway which is actually nice because you can build her full peacekeeping and still get the maximum utility out of her in a pvp scenario as well which i really really love so um this is going to be a peacekeeping commander for sure 100 but she's also going to have some really great utility in pvp which is great right that's amazing hopefully she comes into the game as a free-to-play commander we're going to speculate how i think she's going to be implemented outside of china because right now she's only implemented in china as it is um, but her fourth skill let's take a look it's called female general i guess um, I, I don't know exactly what this would specifically translate to but that seems to be somewhat accurate maybe if you guys speak chinese uh, comment down below what you actually think um, this is called if you've seen the actual leaks the actual uh, not leaks but screenshots of this commander in the chinese game now this skill says a attack power is increased by 10 percent so at five skill points it would be 20 so straight up you get 20 percent extra attack which is awesome because it doesn't specify which um which troop type right so you can literally pair her with any commander and they get 20 percent extra attack like that's amazing right that's really good um she also says when serving as secondary commander current target will take more damage after the active skill is used damage taken increased by 10 percent for three seconds this goes all the way up to 20 percent so that means whenever and i don't know if this is it, mulan's active skill or the active skill of the primary commander or is it just either active skill that would make this insanely good right but this just says after the active skill is used which i don't really know how to interpret that let's just assume that it's the active skill of the primary commander i guess right because if this happened after any active skill that would be insanely good like that would be almost broken because the active skill the primary would go off and then you have one turn two turns of them taking 20 percent more and then mulan's active skill would go off which gives you three more turns so that's 
five turns right because they obviously wouldn't stack with that one turn overlap um that's five turns so i guess basically half the time they would be taking more uh 20 percent more damage and and that's you know if there's a rage engine involved like it could be more more than 50 percent of the time anyway this is a really good skill super super powerful debuff for the enemy now again we still need to see how this actually works in game to see how powerful this is because this could be either good or insanely good right it's one or the other because either way you're getting 20 percent attack for any troop type like that's wild i wonder what this would be like if she was secondary on your wall right because that increases the attack of your entire garrison by 20 percent. that's all troop types plus you're you're making the enemy take 20 percent more damage for three seconds if this goes off after both primary and secondary i feel like that would be really an interesting combo uh i would love to see how that works plus when she's counter-attacking them the rally would be losing 100 rage every 20 percent chance of happening like i don't know this this might actually be a interesting secondary on your wall I don't know we'll have to wait and see finally let's look at her expertise so it's roughly translates to power of the country or like nationality or something like that um it's enhanced it's an enhanced version of her primary skill so it says that instead of the 15 percent of attack defense and health it increases the attack defense and help of your troops and allies by 20 percent and march speed by 30 percent for three seconds so you get five percent more of all the stats five percent more march speed and it lasts for an extra second so that's a 50 percent increase in the amount of uptime for this uh active skill so really good right this is kind of like the best part about her are these buffs and so when you expertise her it makes her even better right which is super super cool i absolutely love that now one thing that we can talk about is that it seems to be the case that she is a legendary version of uh, joan of arc right i mean joan of arc has a very similar skill to this where it gives a 30 percent buff to each of the troop types um and and also the uh, rage obviously so there's some speculation on how would mulan's buff affect a march that is already buffed by joan of arc right because as we know uh buffs do not necessarily stack essentially what happens is your army basically gets the effect of the most powerful currently active buff and so when you look at joan of arc right she gives you a 30 percent let's actually just jump over here to uh to joan of arc let me go ahead and do this you can actually see here uh joan of arc gives you 30 percent of stats right but it is specific to a troop type so you would get 30 percent infantry health 30 percent cavalry defense 30 percent archer attack so if we're taking a look at um mulan for example you know this they're not necessarily the same buffs right and so if this was again if this was a 20 percent buff to um infantry for example then obviously joan of arc's buff is higher and it would overrule it right it would it would it wouldn't um it wouldn't really take effect so what i'm thinking is that i think they're different buffs right like they're literally worded differently and so this is an across the board attack defense and health buff regardless of troop type so i feel like you could have a buff to your army active a 20 percent attack buff and a the attack buff that you get from joan of arc because joan of arc's buff is it's for a specific troop type right so you're getting the attack on the archers so it's my understanding and right this is just my speculation but it's my understanding that these buffs i think would stack i think they're gonna stack and that's gonna make this a really interesting commander in the open field um you're absolutely going to want both a Joan of Arc and a Mulan out in the open field when there is a uh, field fighting going on, right? It's just, they're just, if they, if they stack, that's going to be crazy. You're going to have a huge advantage. And I'm personally really excited for this commander. So with that being said, let's talk about Mulan coming to the rest of the world, right? Because as it stands right now, um, Mulan is only in the Chinese version of Rise of Kingdoms. So I don't know how that necessarily works when let's say you go up against a chinese kingdom in kbk do they just get to have mulan and everybody else doesn't or are there certain kingdoms where mulan is in the game and those kingdoms are kind of in their own little bubble where maybe they'll kbk against each other that's kind of what i'm thinking is going to happen because it just 
you know if she's this real if this, she's this good um i feel like it, it would just be unfair for another kingdom to have an entirely new legendary that no not only you know you couldn't have her it's not like she's expensive to get it's just you literally couldn't possibly have her that's just an advantage that i think is is kind of unfair for the rest of the world right and so i feel like she you're not gonna have to go up against a mulan at the moment until she is in the uh sorry i'm just fixing my camera i'm talking until she's in the game for the rest of the world now the next thing we have to talk about is how long is she going to be exclusive to the chinese version of the game well we won't we don't know we literally have no idea i personally think that there are two different ways that mulan can be implemented into the game the first one is uh, kind of the same train of thought that chisco had in his video so he said that you know the the two-year anniversary of rise of kingdoms is coming up it may be the case that you know mulan is kind of implemented into the two-year anniversary celebration event which is really really interesting especially because she is in the image from the previous uh celebration right i mean this was posted september 11th of 2019 september is uh, this is you know if we think that their anniversary is september 11th then we're less than a month away from the two-year anniversary of rise of kingdoms and so for the first anniversary picture we saw mulan in it right so it could be the case that the second day or the second anniversary of rise of kingdoms will have mulan in it because she was already there for the first one so um i think that is a really solid theory and if we go off of that theory i'm pretty sure isn't that how sunduk was int uh, introduced into the game i'm pretty sure you got her for free for participating in this event and after that she was implemented into the gold keys for players who weren't playing the game at that time so i think that that's a really solid theory i think that mulan will be part of the two-year anniversary of the game and then she'll be in the gold keys so if you guys are interested in mulan i would start saving your gold keys now because there's a good chance she could be in them very very soon within the next couple of months it's also worth noting that if you don't want to save your gold keys if you are able to get her let's say you are able to get her next month for the two-year anniversary um you could exchange your gold heads for her technically right um meaning if you get her from the event um just like sunduk you can trend you can convert your universals into sunduk but you could all the time right um so that's something you could do if you really want to expertise her very very fast however if she's going to be a gold key commander is that really what you want to do do you really want to spend your heads on a gold key commander I don't know i mean she is really good right she is really good she's providing really powerful buffs especially if they stack with joan of arc hey it might be worth it i don't know we'll have to wait and see how just broken good she is now the second way that they could implement mulan into the game is they could replace ethelfled in the metal shop i think that's another reasonable implementation for her so for example they could implement her as a two-year anniversary commander and then after that um instead of putting her in the gold keys like they did with sunduk they could put her into the metal shop as kind of a rotation with ethelflaed i hope that they wouldn't just take her away because she's a very powerful commander and new players still need to expertise her but i think maybe a rotation between ethelflaed and sunduk would be I'm sorry that's not so dog mulan um i think between those two that would be a nice rotation give some nice uh something fresh right or maybe you get mulan kind of comes unlocked after you expertise ethel flood right so ethel floods in the store until she's expertise th then it switches to mulan and you can expertise her so that would kind of follow the same sort of um theory behind the daily bundles right so there's a daily bundle for Cao Cao. when you expertise him the daily bundle for martel becomes unlocked i think that they could do something similar to that with the metal shop and that would kind of make everybody happy right so new players can still get ethel fled old players have something new to obtain that would be amazing and we all know that we have we need something to use those metals on right we're running out of things and so that's a really good implementation and i i would be interested to see if they do something like that now finally let's discuss the implementation of mulan outside of china as far as a legality standpoint there's been some talks of people saying you will you know they can't implement mulan outside of china because of copyright laws uh, uh basically dealing with disney right disney obviously has their new movie coming out i think it comes out this year um the live action Mulan movie that's a really interesting it would be cool to see if rise of kingdoms kind of did a 
a uh a, a joint sort of marketing push with them like where they kind of collaborated i don't see disney doing that right I, I just i just don't see it um it would be interesting and i think the timing kind of does line up which would be really cool um but i don't think that that would be the case and in fact um i do think that there could potentially be a legal issue with with this however i i don't think there will be right i don't think there will be because Mulan is actually a fictional character. It's not like Disney made Mulan. Um, Mulan has the story of Mulan has been around before Disney, right? And so it's worth keeping that in mind. And also, it doesn't look like Mulan from the movies or anything, right? It's literally just an Asian female. There's Disney can't copyright a generic Asian female warrior, right? It's just it, you can't do that. Um, and so, in, in even in the worst case scenario, if Disney copyrighted the name Mulan out in the Americas right somehow um literally rise of kingdoms could just in the english version of the game just call her something else they could just give her a different name outside of china and just keep her looking the same functioning the same and, and every everything like that um and then immediately D disney would have nothing to go off of right because th there's just no resemblance here at all to disney's mulan so i don't think that, that there will be a legal issue implementing her outside of of the of, of china um if they do i think they'll just change her name and they'll be good um and you know there is a very very small chance that um they could release her in conjunction with the movie i think that would be interesting but highly unlikely but if they did that would bring a lot of players to rise of kingdoms and i think that would be really really great for the game anyway guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it comment down below what you think of these this translation it's very very similar almost to the t of the translation that we already had if you're new around here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram on twitter i also have my discord channel and my twitch down there below so follow me on all those places if you want to see me go live or post different content and finally there's a link in the description below to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your mac it's a program called blue stacks it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms i experience fewer crashes during kvk using this program than maybe an older phone and like i said it's free so click that link down below and give it a try with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace